Jim you just said they're going to send somebody intelligent up. They obviously couldn't find one, so they sent yourself up. <laughs> yeah. So um, I shouldn't say that, should I? But hey, two one massacre that one. First of all, I'd just like to say the jokes keep getting worse in this room. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, yeah, and, I, and, I, and they weren't good to start with, by the way. Um, two one. I think we're slightly flattering to them. Um, but a win to win. Um, they're all just as pleasing. Keeper's kept a minute to be fair, hasn't he? The keeper was very good, yeah. I was mm. impressed by him. Um, all round, we were just talking about in the changing room there, thought he had a good game. Mm. The 1v1 with Lowy, saves close on the line. And his distribution was good as well. Yeah. Thought he'd done well. That said, it's not about them, it's about Barry and it was a proper team performance, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, emphasis on team there, as you said. Uh, there was some shining light and some stars mm. who glitter that we all like watching, yeah. as you know, um, with Danny and Nicky and whatnot. But it was a real team performance, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't think there was a bad performance out there. No, there wasn't. I'm just saying to Nicky, do you feel now, as each game goes by, you're getting better and better as you get to know each other a bit more? Because still four or five new players from the summer. We're growing, yeah, but I mm. think... Um, I don't think it's as much getting to know each other, I think it's belief in the system. Right. The system was being instilled all through pre-season, being mm -hmm. brave, playing out, even when we're 1-0 down, you know, I think that's a huge factor is top teams win games when they're down. Mm -hmm. We've been down our last two home games times, now, yeah. come back to one yeah. to win. Just when the fans were starting to, you know, mm -hmm. get a bit um, jittery, mm -hmm. uh, we're 1-0 down and me and Nathan and Pablo are dropping off to get it at the back. I know they want to see that shelled forward, maybe, but um, you know, these are the things that draw teams out that yeah. allow Danny Mayer space, Nicky Adams space to go and destroy people. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I mean, you, you're from the back. You're playing from the back all the time. How brave have you got to be to play there using that system? Yeah, you have. You know, you're under pressure. Um, teams are trying different ways to try and stop us. Um, they come three for three to try and mm. you know literally stand on us but either we then try and find another you know solution drop another man down or literally mm. pass it straight back to the goalkeeper let him try and find the next pass you're playing under pressure yeah. in your own half in danger zones it is you know dangerous mm. high pressure football but if you manage to play through that press and you reap the rewards and you get stars on the ball like Danny Nicky Lowy Rosie we're going to hurt teams. Yeah. How crucial was that second goal right at the beginning of the half to make them come out? Yeah. Um, I think the first 30 minutes, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest, they pressed us quite well. Yeah, they had three runs they up broke, front, didn't they? They broke up play really well. Yeah. Um, it was stop-start, just our brain once he likes yeah. affecting games. Um, but it's inevitable that teams can't retain that level of, yeah. of press and press and pressing. And eventually the distances of the pitch become so big mm. and uh, we can get our lads on the ball as we wanted. Um, and then I think we'd worn them down first half, start the second half. The pitch was massive, we noticed mm. it from the side. The passes were on. It was a lovely it was a lovely goal to be fair, it was a lovely move. It was, it was, yeah. I mean it really just carried on from Saturday really, hasn't it? With Jonesy getting Jonesy into position yeah. on more than one occasion. Yeah, I mean and he's just the final part of that move, yeah. you know. Uh, the seven passes previous to mm. that, which you know, take you know, just as much an important yeah. part in the goal yeah. as, the, as the finish itself. Yeah, absolutely. Saturday, well, can we call it a top of the table clash? I suppose we could first, first, second. When well, it uh, literally is, isn't it? So we can call it that. September, I suppose, but uh, um, yeah, it is a top of the table clash. Um, I believe they've got beat tonight. They yeah. want to bounce back Wonderful. from that. Yeah. So that's their first character test. Um, we had ours on the opening day of the season, yeah. and we've responded beautifully. So, it's a big game, they'll have watched us, we'll definitely watch them, Yeah. and uh, we shall see how it pans out. I mean, it's even to say, oh, you look at who they've got to worry, but by God, you've got a few to worry them, haven't you? No, I feel <laughs> um, You know, we've got a lot of stars on the pitch, and we, we've set up a system to try and allow them lads to flourish, yeah. while, yeah. We, uh, while we try and dominate at the back. So. And I'm so saying, Flickers, that's three defeats in 22 games, and obviously going back to last season as well, mm. so you've got that consistency now as well. Mm. Yeah, um, and belief, yeah, consistency breeds yeah. belief. The, the, uh, the dressing room there is bouncing, so mm. I can't wait for Saturday now. I mean, if we, from your point of view as captain, you have to speak to lads who can't, who are out the side because they're, going, they're struggling to get back in, aren't they now? Once you're out, you're in trouble. It's difficult, yeah. yeah. I mean, myself included, I, I was suspended. Yeah. Uh, we're getting sent off, and I felt the pressure of not being <laughs> on the side. I'm is thinking, it? am I going to get back on the side yeah. and I'm the captain? So. Yeah. Um, it's a talented team. Yeah, it is. Whoever's in it, 
you know, there's a good chance we can win games. So mm -hmm. if you're out, you gotta work hard and try and get back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interested you talk about like working hard and trying to get back in, but with regards to uh, tonight, I mean, there was a few sort of niggly challenges near, uh, near the start. That I saw, um, I saw that you got involved in a couple yeah. of them. Then, I mean, it just shows that there's another side to the Berry game, not just like you said the, the sparkling stars. You've got to do the hard stuff first. It's time. a good point that you raised because I believe the last couple of teams that have come here, and we've read things in the press previous to the to the visit. I've thought they're a nice passing team, you know, emphasis on nice, but. We're building up the belief now in our own changing room that we can fight teams as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we can battle with teams, we can outpass teams. I think we can do a bit of everything as good as as good as anyone. So it's important that you have that ruthless side as well. You know, that that strength. You can't just be nice mm -hmm. and pretty because you'll get rolled over on Tuesday night against Stevenage. Mm -hmm. But tonight, you know, we had a strong spine and we stood up and fought. You know. I took a nice elbow in the jaw, which is still uh, <laughs> vibrating a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're going to get riled by teams. I don't blame them for trying. You know, why would you come here and, and, and let us play nice? I'd get amongst us if I could. So you know, fair play to them. But I think we can we can mix it. Okay. Uh, I, was, uh, I mean, the, the, I guess this is a strange question, but I mean, the size of the of the, of the defensive unit. If you include Kelvin and Tom now as well if, in the middle of the park, I mean. It's not to be underestimated, is it? You need that. No, it looks quite fearsome, doesn't it? There's a lot of power. <laughs> yeah. um, strength. Strength and experience. So, yeah, both ends of the field are just as you know, important as each other and are starting to both flourish. Okay. Uh, I did say before Keith interrupts. I did say one one thing in my um. I just remembered what you said about the juggernaut getting the juggernaut in motion after the Hartlepool game, the first win. Yes. I mean, does it feel like it's getting up to full speed? It does, now? Yeah, it's had three wins now. Well, I think it's he's unbeaten since you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was the feeling. Yeah, getting the juggernaut in motion. And yeah, to answer your question, it does now feel like we're in the mood to roll wins out back to back. Mm. Hopefully, you know, we can do it, not just talk it. Yeah. Two or three. <laughs> two or three. Well, you've had two wins back to back. Is there, uh, is there a third one coming against three. Brighton? I mean, you can't really say all this stuff. You get carried away, don't is you? Is that two or three? Three. Three beat Burton. One game as well. It will be three two if away. you beat Burton. Yeah. Is it not three now? No. no. Wickham. Wickham was, was a draw, Wickham, correct. Yeah. You can just <laughs> you just can't like that. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that because I weren't playing. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> I remember in my game. Yeah. No, no, it uh, doesn't count. No, I mean, it, we, I, I can feel myself getting carried away. I think everyone talking around here feels that. But obviously it's a long season. It's just started, hasn't it? Yeah, I can understand people getting carried away because they're probably looking at the team most weeks and thinking, oh, four or five goals here, you know. Mm. it's not. It doesn't always work out that way, but I can understand people getting carried away. I... Slightly do myself, but try to you know. They just have keep to go on and look at the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what's the change then? I mean, I, I think I think steamrolling teams. You, you maybe you did, you did that tonight without getting the goals. I guess. The yeah. Just just finishing them off sooner rather than later, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I've been in talented groups before. You do get excited by them. This is most certainly up there. You know, amongst them. It's just getting them players to truly believe. Mm they can steamroll teams and it's just starting to come now it's just starting to it's I want to say an arrogance but yeah. the gaffer would not want me to use that word too much I don't think because he doesn't like other people being arrogant but just a slight degree of arrogance and belief in yourself and in the group okay right thank you well there's Matthew's Nicky was saying 